Hello friends, welcome back once again. Today I have bring a very important topic that the MCQ from the CNS Central Nervous System with very easy tricks. So these tricks will further help you for your preparation purpose. Okay. So let's take question one by one. First, all of the following are atypical antipsychotic except as we know antipsychotic are two class derivative typical and atypical derivative. Atypical derivative. How you will remember the atypical derivative? Very easy trick. I am going to give you. Here you will just remember or cus. Simple or cus. If you will remember this word, then definitely you will remember all the atypical antipsychotic. How? Let's point out. First O. O for we have olanzapine. Olanzapine, R, R for risperidone, C, C for clozapine, A, A for azepeprazole, and S, S actually is a brand name, Sesquare. But the our drug here is the quetiapine. Quetiapine. So we have all our five drugs from here. These are the very important questions. Atypical antipsychotic: olanzapine, resveratrol, clozapine, azepeprazole, and quetiapine. So find out in the options. We have the olanzapine. Yes, it's atypical. Resveratrol also atypical. Clozapine. Yes, thiazidazone. Means thiazidazone. Is not a typical antipsychotic. Okay, this is the typical. So here we have our correct answer. Thiazidazone is not here. We find out the except. So this is the right answer. Next question: Which anti-epileptic agent inhibit the metabolism of GABA? As we know, anti in case of epilepsy, treatment of epilepsy, we mainly Find out three classes drug first to increase the GABA activity, reduce the sodium activity, and also increase the uh, inhibit the calcium activity. So under the GABA, we have to find out the metabolism. The metabolism of GABA mainly carried out by the enzyme GABA transaminase. GABA transaminase means we have to inhibit the GABA transaminase enzyme metabolism. If you want to inhibit the metabolism, just remember one word. We have the right answer here. Vega bacterium. How we will find out the answer? Vega bacterium. Now divide this word. Here we find out GABA. We have GABA TR TR indicate transaminase and IN inhibition means GABA transaminase inhibition GABA GABA transaminase inhibitor. So Vega battery here is our right answer. Vega battery mainly inhibit the GABA transaminase enzyme. Now let's also discuss what are the effect of other drug GABA pentin and proga bite. These both drug GABA pentin and proga bite increase the release of GABA from the vesicles to the synaptic cleft. Okay, means GABA pentin and proga bite increases the release of GABA. And TR having mainly inhibit the reuptake of GABA. So this is the right answer here. We have GABA pentin. Now next third question: Which of the following TCA is not a 5-ST and not adrenaline reuptake inhibitor? So under the TCA tricyclic antidepressant, we have two major classes. First major class which inhibit 5-ST and not adrenaline both, and second which inhibit the nor predominant predominantly noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor so the drug 
which inhibit 5-ST and not adrenaline reuptake inhibitor. How we will remember? Just remember one word. Addict. Here we find out the addict. If we will remember the addict, then we find out the drug which inhibit both 5-ST and not adrenaline. How? A. Let's take each drug one by one. First A. A for we have Amitriptyline D D for Doxepin I I for Imipramine C C for Clomipramine and T T for Trimipramine So these are the five drugs which mainly act by the inhibition 5-ST and noradrenaline both. So now come to the our options. Imipramine, yes, there is the imipramine. We have to find out not. Okay. Clomipramine, yes, is there. Desipramine, no, this one is not there. Trimipramine also there present. Means here our right answer is the Desipramine. Okay, by this step. Now let's also take the drug which act predominantly inhibiting noradrenaline. Just remember one word: DNA. DNA. D for desipramine, N for nortriptyline, and A for amoxapine. I will also write down here. Desipramine, nortriptyline, and amoxapine. Okay, these are the three drugs which only or predominantly inhibit the noradrenaline reuptake. Okay, now come the next question. All of the following used in methyl alcohol poisoning, except. During the, methyl, <coughs> during the methyl alcohol poisoning, we used BEF. Remember this thing. BEF. BEF, V gives the electrolyte of the bicarbonate. B for bicarbonate. E. E for ethanol. F, F for Fomepizole and F, F for Folinic Acid. Folinic Acid, also known as the Folviron. Folinic Acid or Folic Acid. Okay. What is the mainly use of all these? Bicarbonate electrolyte just dilute the concentration of methyl alcohol. Fomepizole. Fomepizole is the drug which inhibit the alcohol dehydrogenase. By the inhibiting alcohol dehydrogenase, the methyl alcohol will not be converted into the formaldehyde. So this is the fomepizole action. Ethanol. Ethanol have the higher affinity. Higher affinity towards the alcohol dehydrogenase or we can say alcohol dehydrogenase have high, higher affinity for the ethanol than methanol. So alcohol dehydrogenase mainly act on the ethanol while folinic acid or folic acid mainly used to convert the formic acid into carbon dioxide that will easily excrete out. So this is the action of all these four drugs. So here in our options we have formepizole, yes, folviron, correct, ethanol and disulfiram. Here our right answer is the disulfiram means disulfiram cannot be used for the methyl alcohol poisoning because disulfiram is the agent which inhibit the aldehyde dehydrogenase by which the for after if you give the, the disulfiram then the formaldehyde concentration continuously increases into the body. So this is not used for the methyl alcohol poisoning. Now the next question which of the following is not a salt acting benzodiazepine? 
Okay. Salt acting benzodiazepine. Just remember one word. Tom. Here. Tom. T for. T for. Triazolam. O for. Onazolam. And M for. Midazolam. So these are the three drugs which are short acting. If sometimes question asks which benzodiazepine is the shortest acting. If shortest acting means all of these in this only midazolam is the shortest acting. Okay. So here in our options we have the alprazolam. No, this one is not the short acting. Triazolam, yes. Midazolam, correct. Ornazolam, also. So our right answer here will be the alprazolam. Means alprazolam is not a short acting benzodiazepine this is the long acting benzodiazepine so next question here which of the following <coughs> act as benzodiazepine antagonist so we have to find out the antagonist of the benzodiazepine we have the options naloxine formamazole flumazenil and pencilamine so first of all just check each one what is the role of these substance here we have naloxane. Naloxane is opioid antagonist. This is not the correct answer. Fomepizole, this is the methyl alcohol poisoning antidote. This also not can be benzodiazepine antagonist. Flumazenil, yes, this is the benzodiazepine antagonist. Flumazenil is our right answer. While pencilamine is the chelating agent used for the copper poisoning. So benzodiazepine is mainly preferred over the phenobarbitone because benzodiazepine have the selective antagonist that is flumazenil. So this is also a very important point. Next, which anti-epileptic drug does not act via sodium channel inhibition? As we know, anti-epileptic drugs mainly act by three mechanisms. Inhibition of the sodium channel, increase the GABA system as well as inhibit the calcium system, calcium channel. Okay. So here find out the function of all. So first, what is the function of this lamotriazine? Actually, lamotriazine is broad spectrum antiepileptic, as like valproic acid. Means lamotriazine inhibit sodium channel, increase GABA secretion as well as inhibit the calcium channel. So this is a sodium channel inhibition. Now ethosuximide, no. Ethosuximide is the calcium channel inhibitor. T type, find out T type calcium channel inhibitor. Phenytoin, yes, sodium channel inhibition and carbamazepine, also sodium channel inhibition. So here we have the right answer Ethosuximide. Ethosuximide is T type calcium channel inhibitor. This is our right answer here. Next, lithium most commonly used to treat which disorder? Lithium, very important point. Lithium used for schizophrenia disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, in short OCD, bipolar disorder or personality disorder. So lithium mainly used for the mood disorder or bipolar disorder. So here we have the right answer, bipolar disorder. Very easy. Next, which of the following is not a non-selective MAO inhibitor? So first of all find out that what is the myo inhibitor and type of myo inhibitor mono amino oxidase inhibitor this is the three type this can be three type first non selective second mao a selective mao a inhibitor And third class will be selective Mao B inhibitor. So, what are the different drugs? So, we can find out first. To remember the non selective, we have to remember tip. Here I am going to give you the tip. What is the meaning of tip? Tip will be the T is the trenyl cypromine, I for isocarboxazate, and P for phenylazine. These are the three non-selective. 
while mau a inhibitor will be here moclobemide moclobemide as well as chlorgynin here we have chlorgynin while mau inhibitor will be the salazelin and rasagelin salazelin and rasagelin these are the mau b inhibitor so here chlorgynin is mau a inhibitor it's not the non selective so here our right answer will be the chlorgynin okay next find out the anti epileptic drug that can be used in pregnancy i have previously made a video that all the teratogenic drug which should not be used during the pregnancy i will give the link into the description you should watch that video once that will very helpful for you okay so here we have to find out that which anti epileptic drug can be used during the pregnancy let's find out valproate well, it cannot be used because valproate well, if any pregnant lady take the valproic well, acid or valproate well, then that will leads to the development of the cardiac and limb malfunction cardiac and limb malfunction means its development will be inhibited next phenytoin phenytoin will develops fetal hydantoin syndrome that cannot be also used phenytoin it will develops hydantoin syndrome next carbamazepine carbamazepine will develops neural tube defect that will teratogenic effect neural tube defect while this phenobarbital yes it can be used during the pregnancy it have very low or minimal side effect during the pregnancy so here our right answer will be the phenobarbital so these are the some important questions and to how this solution with the trick if you like it then please comment on the comment box thank you so much